Well, of all the hate comments, you've truly crossed the line. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From back in London, in the UK, our home, back from America, jet lagged, but very much ready to do a video for you guys today. We're very excited to share this video with you. This is one we've been wanting are to- Are we? <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know, but we've been wanting to share this video with you for a while now, and uh, after collating certain information for this video, kind of slightly reluctant, but uh, nevertheless, we'll get on with it. We won't believe what this video is for you, Gang. Yeah, so today we're going to be reading some of the meanest and maybe even funniest and silliest comments we have received on this channel. Yeah, as you guys know, we read all of your comments. We try and heart all your comments and we do actually, um, we do reply to a lot of comments as well. So we do see all the good, the bad and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny. Yes. Yes. To be honest, 99.9% .9 of the comments we receive from you guys are such lovely comments, beautiful comments. We even just took out a few random comments here. Erica Dulac, it's really lovely, so beautifully done. Nice to be shown around by such a pleasant and handsome chap too. Thank you. Good luck and good living to you all. Elaine Feather, oh Bob, I just cried when you gave Jamie that beautiful gift. And the lovely words you said. You are such an awesome family and you have awesome kids too. Good luck Jamie in your new home. I bet it will be brilliant, but you will really be missed by mum and dad and your brothers, and us too. Biggest hugs to you and your boyfriend and to the rest of the family. Love you all so much. These few comments just epitomise what it is like getting comments from you guys. Always so nice, always so positive. Yeah. However, there are times where certain videos go outside the realm of the free game and they reach lots of new people on the internet who maybe don't feel the same way. Yeah, occasionally we have a video that goes viral. To the dark depths of YouTube. And you know when it's gone viral because it goes outside of our usual subscribers. You actually get people who come onto the channel and say, why was this suggested to me? Yeah. Don't watch it then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that is the case with one in one video in particular, which is our bus tour video. For any of you uh, who have been on the channel for a while, you will know that we stayed in a double decker bus, which was really fun and we had a great time. And Bob did a tour of the bus that we were staying in and it went crazy. It's got about 3 million views, that video. We kind of realized that video was going viral when we started to get some very unusual comments. Yeah, non-free gang-ish comments. Yeah, but there were some very funny ones. If you want to know what I'm talking about, if you dare, click on that video. We'll put it up in the corner. Go and have a look, because those comments will make you laugh, guaranteed. If you're having a bad day, you will <laughs> yeah. laugh. Right, without further ado, shall we get into these comments then? Yeah, I hope the first one's about you. Hang on, hang on a minute. I'm going to get a pen and paper ready. I've come prepared. Why? Because I'm taking notes. Well, like, like in case we get constructive feedback. I want, to, <laughs> I want to know. I want to know where we're going wrong. How cute is this pad? Okay. This was on the bus video, for example. Your hair looks like it was cut with a butter knife. That is, of course, referring to my hair. Wow, that is, that is actually a really good comment. What's that? Was that said to me, you or you? Me. Your hair being cut with a butter knife is completely impossible. Why is that? Because we don't eat butter. Ah, a vegan butter knife? There are a, a lot of comments on Bob's hair, and I know why they comment uh, that we're commenting about your hair. Why? Because last year, do you remember you had that lump? Bob really should have got it checked by a doctor, but he didn't. If you get lumps and bumps anywhere, you get them checked. I was a bit worried about it, but you didn't seem worried. And then all of a sudden, all the hair just fell out around the lump. And then the lump went. It just went, didn't it? It went on its own. I don't know what you did, but it went. But then you were just left with this little ball patch <laughs> at the side of your head. So it literally looked like someone had cut your hair and just done it completely wrong. So that was why you got so many comments about the hair. It did look a bit odd. Right, anyway, now we've got the hair, bus, all that situation out of the way. Let's go for a nice mix, pick a mix of hate. Matilda Mantel decides that Apparently, Jamie's outfit makes her look like a pig. Which is quite strange, because I've never seen pigs in clothes. And do you know oh, what? I really like pigs. Pigs are lovely. They're nice animals. Yeah. And they're more intelligent than dogs. Yeah. Exactly. I'm sure Jamie would be happy to know that. <laughs> 
Coolio Jane says, he should be in school. Also, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case she wasn't done with her opinion that Jojo should be in school, she's making it clear that she doesn't like us. Can we just, uh, can I just specify, is it you she doesn't like? I don't know. Or is it me? One of us. Maybe, maybe it's Jojo. Is it you, Jojo? I don't think it's you. It's me, do you reckon? <laughs> well, do you know what, Jane? Whatever either one of us has done to not be liked, it's okay, we completely forgive you. It's absolutely fine. You could not Everything's like coolio, Jane. See what I did there? Do you think you should be in school, Jojo? No. No? Okay, that's settled then. David Jackson Sr. I understood nothing you said, but that dang old bus house is damn cool. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Was there something wrong with the way I was speaking? Or was it just my London accent? A lot of people though say that they don't understand you. You talk too fast. How dare they? I'll make notes of that one in a minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Justin Kogan. When you realise they're actor and this video is an ad for their sponsors. The funny thing was, this is about a video of Jojo doing a haul in Hobbycraft. <laughs> that, that would have been cool if they were our sponsors. Yes! Hobbycraft. We wish. Us. Yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. So a lot of people think that we're sponsored by, I mean, there are, we have been sponsored, which is awesome by some companies, but it's not the ones people think it is. <laughs> no. I just, are we gonna, the video on bad comments, are we gonna get bad comments on this? Video. I don't oh, know. That's an interesting question. That'd be some irony, wouldn't it? Oh, this is a very consistent one. Bailey O'May. OMG. I am getting really annoyed when you say we are coming live, but not live. It's so annoying. Sorry. You must have a problem with what the beginning of every video. Yeah. How have you lasted this long? How are you not happy with that live but not live bit? Yeah. yeah. Even Jojo's joined in doing it now. We did do a poll. We did a poll because the free game spoke. Yeah, and most of them said it was You're okay. You're watching this video, sorry. <laughs> Bailey, if you do feel that you want to stick around for the other stuff and you do enjoy it, maybe just like hit play, mute, and then wait ten seconds, and then you're done. Yeah. Oh, could I be able to mute? Would I be able to mute you in real life? I am absolutely not. That would be no, so cool. I'm mean. We did do a poll about the life but not life thing, but most people did did want did like it, didn't they? Yes. yes. There are a few that didn't. But the free game spoke. Yeah, you can't please everybody. No. Starkness 65. Why the hell do you look so much like that everything Apple Pro guy? Are you like his other brother who live in a bus instead of a big house like him? Who, Who is this guy? Who's this guy? Everything, I've got to look this up. Everything Apple, everything Apple Pro Guy. Free game, do you know who Everything this is? Apple Pro Guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Does this look like Daddy? It doesn't look like It doesn't at all. I think I see the resemblance a bit there. All right, maybe in that one. But he, in general. He might be a bit better looking than you, Bob. How dare you? He hasn't even got a bit. I don't know, maybe he's a really known guy or something. I think he is. I think he, he must be, if someone said that. But um, yeah, he looks a bit like you. Comment comment below, guys, if you think that the everything, what's his name? Everything Apple Pro guy looks like Bob. Bob too. Okay, right, next comment. Janier Just I C E. The extremes people go through to save money. It's a piece of beep. Hey. That's not very nice. That was a nice bus we stayed on. Yes. And we didn't do it to save money, we did it for fun. Yeah. How dare you! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you're just ICE. You made us go that far now. Don't push us. This is an interesting one, especially because someone else intervened. Deb Cook. Great bus. Too much yapping. Just show. Well, I guess they're referring to me, the person talking about the bus. But what's even worse is Someone on the Family Freedom account replies, I'm his wife. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Don't exacerbate the problem. This is not... I did say that. <laughs> you do yap a lot, Bob. You do. That was a lot of yapping went on in that video. I'm going to call it yapping from now on. That's a good word. No. Stop yapping on. Next one, Daddy. Mickey Creole has left us a nice little essay. 
Not too keen on this video. I guess I'm a perfectionist because this double decker bus conversion, as well as the presenter, both look like tramps. I really don't get it. Is it really that hard to give a clean and professional finish at the end? Because you book a family holiday to stay on an ex-public bus, it doesn't mean it's got to look that part as I won't find it enjoyable staying on a 25 bus to Oxford Circus. Us British lot really don't get that clean sharp finish, really. Maybe because in this country, UK, thanks for reminding us, it's far cheaper to go on a family holiday overseas than in your own backyard. All I'm saying, because it's a converted double-decker bus, it doesn't mean it's got to look the part. A nice clean finish and a bit of gloss would have been much more appealing. And because someone is a chav in life, we don't have to look it when we're spreading the words to the masses. It's so a the, long comment. I know. So when a chav goes on holiday, come one, leave the trackies indoors. There's some dirt cheap but nice holiday clothes in Primark. Are you quite done, Mickey? Anything else to say? <laughs> Obviously, he's not too happy with how the bus looks, but I think the aim of the bus was to keep the originality and the theme of the bus. It wasn't to turn it into something that would rival the Ritz. But yes. But he's saying you look like a tramp. He's saying I look like a tramp and a chap. Basically going by me wearing hoodie and tracking this, this ethics gear is top quality clothing. This stuff ain't cheap, mate. No. It's about probably a hundred times more expensive to make than what Primark. probably comes out of Primark, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know exactly what goes into making Primark clothing, but I know what goes into this. It's organic. It's recycled materials. It's made with renewable energy. Ethically made. No slave labour. No children being harmed. This is top quality stuff. Not I don't see chavs or tramps or whatever stereotypes you may envisage wearing that. Maybe that's what you're wearing, Mickey. Maybe it's a reflection and you're just jealous because I'm wearing top quality gear. <laughs> Lucky I didn't do, do the uh, presenting wearing this. Yes, my goodness, they take you apart. TXL Adventure, though, has got it a bit more to the point. This man is crazy. You're crazy. Apparently so. Is that the, that's the comment, you are crazy? Yeah. Well, quite a contrast there. Yeah. Short and sweet. Can I just say about the one before, though? Some people have a lot of time on their hands. No, they get that keyboard in front of them and they can't, they just let go, they just let loose. Patchow Cow 77 says, God damn it, I thought I could watch at least one shopping video without people buying damn cucumbers. Well, <laughs> of all the hate comments you've truly crossed the line, Patchow Cow 77, you can say what you want about my accent about me going on. You can call me a tramp, you can call me a chap, but you take down cucumbers and you've crossed the line. In fact, I'm gonna stop the hate comments and we're gonna to go to some more entertaining, funny comments. I'm not entertaining the hate anymore. I'm going with the funny stuff. You crossed the line with the cucumbers. Yeah. That's Bob's favorite food. How dare you? How dare you? Tell him ah! And you made the boy stand up and do the waggy finger telling off thing. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. Seriously though, we do have some funny comments to break this, what is clearly a tense situation. Cucumbers? What sort of person would say such a thing? There will be bad ones coming back, but these ones we have to include because they're hilarious. Like a lot of the time we, we will say to people, what is the weather like where you are? Every man a king said, I live on Mars. It's really hot, not much for swimming, but the views are all right, I guess. Time doesn't exist and the loneliness can be hard sometimes. But the International Galactic Society gave me access to you, your YouTube vids, so life is pretty good after all. Cheers from outer space. Didn't even know Wi-Fi was on Mars. I know. I didn't even know we had free gang out in space. Yeah. yeah. We've got the Martian free gang. Yeah. yeah, it's like your aliens. Coming to you live, but not live, from Mars. Now, a lot of these funny comments tend to be centering around a certain combination of the driver's cabin and the bathroom on the double-decker bus. Oh, do this me. Yes, indeed. If you have seen that video, that bus video, then you know what we're talking about. It has a very, very strange toilet situation. It's a dream come true, right? A lot of people have actually decided to uh, use this to their advantage. Barry Allender, for example, says, very cool. The steering wheel is great to spread out your newspaper or magazine while taking care of business. <laughs> Kate Ising said, the cure to the disorder of must play cell phone to poop is to have a steering wheel in front of the toilet. Thank you for that comment. Yeah, it might very well be the cure. <laughs> it might be, yeah. King the German Shepherd says, no privacy? Bigfoot probably beeps to you while you're cooking. No, 
That's disgusting. What? King the German Shepherd, you should be ashamed of yourself. King the German Shepherd. I don't even believe that you're a real German Shepherd. And I don't even believe in Bigfoot. EP Music says, tint the bathroom windows so no one can see you're doing your business. That bus, I'm not gonna lie, it had no curtains anywhere downstairs, especially it didn't have curtains in the toilet, but it was in a field with no one else around. Like there was nobody for miles. The occasional it, cow might look at you. There was a cow, there was some cows. Yeah, well, the cows won't even know what that I is. I don't think, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think the cows were interested in what we were doing in that toilet. In fact, I'd be a bit freaked out if they were interested. Okay. Yeah. AJ Marcel. Can you get a good grip of the steering wheel while wrestling a solid vegan turd? <laughs> <laughs> Look, these are the most funniest comments. It's a dream come true, right? <laughs> now, there's a couple of funny ones which actually aren't related to the bus at all. One, James George recommends an ebook about the eating habits of a food corn. Oh, Stay really? tuned for 2019, it could be coming. James. The eating habits of a food corn. I so Just they want us to write that ebook. Uh, potentially, I don't know. He's got am, low at the end, so. I am writing an ebook at the moment, but it's not about that. But you you'll know. have I'll, to start rewriting it. I'm writing an ebook about food corns. You're going to write it. I mean unicorns. Oh, you're going to write about unicorns, okay? No food corns. This last funny comment I like by Quicksilver just says simply, "Eat more mustard." Wow! Eat more mustard. This was on our 2019 goals video, and I don't know if they're saying eat more mustard for 2019 as a goal, or just in general, or they're going to eat more Maybe mustard. Maybe it's one of their goals. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Should we all eat more mustard in society? Maybe uh, we can allow Quick Silver to have that goal for himself. Okay. But it's, I mean, I like mustard. Anyway, that's enough of all of this fun. Let's get back to the hate. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Joseph Mauricio Flores has stumbled onto the bus video. Where do you grill the steaks? You either need to start eating meat or start eating more meat because you look malnourished or undernutrition. You seem to have a vegan skin condition going on. I know because I had it also when I tried becoming vegan for a whole year. It made me age fast. It made it, him age fast, did you just say? Apparently so, yes. Your eyes look sunk in, skin looks leathery, your skin is not glowing, you don't look healthy man. Well, quite a critique of uh, how my appearance is. Maybe it's a reflection of how you feel, maybe you have judgment on other people, and if anything, I pity you to judge how other people look. I, for one, um, I've only got really better and younger looking and everything and improved since going vegan. That was just, yeah, it's all been kind of good from there. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you need to see me in a video before, then you can make a proper, you know, judgment as judging seems the thing. To be honest, you don't look that different. No. <laughs> I've grown more hair. Yeah, you've got your beard at the moment. So this one's for you, mummy. It's from Grace and Mia. Hi, Grace and Mia. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they say, I love you guys. But mum shouldn't be wearing that top at her age. What is it? What top was she wearing? Yeah, she's only wearing Mickey Mouse. I think it was wearing something different. You're right. Um. Well, Grace and Mia, I hope you're happy. <laughs> she made her cry. I told her to take that top back, but she didn't listen. She just kept on wearing it again and again. I told her you're 79 for goodness sake, you shouldn't be wearing that stuff. But did she listen? No. You okay? Yeah. Would it make you feel better if we read a comment about someone else? Yeah. This one is about you, Jojo. Oh, oh. Dear. <laughs> Pass the tissues over. It says, from Georgina Cat, I hate, hate, hate that child. What do you think of that, Jojo? Well, I have to say... No, Jojo, I'll, I'll, be, a, I'll be the bigger person, no. don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Maybe Georgina did deserve that. Wow, Georgina, was there really that many hates? Yeah, there's three hates, it was triple hate. Triple hate? What do you say to triple hate, Jojo? Jojo, in all seriousness now, what do you say to Georgina? Triple love. Oh. Oh. The only way to destroy hate, love. I've got this hate here. There That's it. It's met the foot. 
well, if we get hate comments, if we get stuff like that, I, I genuinely send that person love because yeah. I just feel like I don't know what they've been through that they feel that they have to say unkind things. I don't yeah. know that you just don't know. What Maybe someone's doing. being unkind to them and that's their only way to release their frustration. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this person in particular, we actually, and we don't have to do this often, we actually had the block because saying things to us, you know, it doesn't affect us, but they actually started going and being rude to other yeah. people in the comments. And we try and make the comments field a very safe place for you guys to come in and comment and speak yeah. to each other. And when they were insulting and being rude and using rude words, we just we just had yeah. to block them. If people start attacking other uh, other free gang, then they have to go. We have to. We don't hardly. We've never. We. I can count on one hand the amount of people that we've had to block in four years. But yeah, we're not going to tolerate bullying. Emran or Rakzai said, "The bus is beautiful, but you talk too much." Yeah. That, I, I, I hope that's you. Yeah, it's me. Uh, okay, I get the point. These two aren't really necessarily mean or hateful, but just maybe a bit frustrated or just strange. Are they observations? Observations, yeah. Oh. Buttercream Sook Cakes says, when you think you're special because you've got a heart from Family Freedom, then you go and look at all the comments and they all have hearts on them. Sometimes we do heart all of our comments. Sometimes we we are lucky enough that we've got that much time and we can literally go through and heart. And we like to. Okay. If we and could do every one, we would. Yeah. And I'm sorry that person didn't feel special because we hearted everybody. That you're all day. special. Every single one of you. Yeah. Seriously. You're all special to us. That isn't just you. a throwaway comment. You literally all are. Whether you just comment hi or a, a big long paragraph. All of you guys are very special to us and every single comment is appreciated. Every single like, click, if you watch one minute or the whole video, the whole video is better. But all of it, you know, we really appreciate and every single one of you is special to us. Yeah. And let hearts and likes determine that. Yeah. And Mia Kitty Corset has given us an interesting comment which is just quite random and said, Hi, this is the YouTube manager. I will be making you have this many on screen. Million subscribers, well done. Yes, hey, have hey, Great hey, work. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. However, it doesn't seem to have updated on the actual YouTube page when I look at it, but maybe there's just a delay. So that was the actual YouTube manager that said that? Apparently so. I mean, Mia Kitty Corn seems like a legitimate YouTube manager name. Wow. I just hope that updates soon. Yeah, I mean, looking at this comment, it has been five months. Because we're going to break all records. We've broken all records. Yeah, that means we've got the more subscribers than anyone. I mean, if I look at this right, the number is 123,456,789,987,654,000. So subscribers. Wow, that's, that's, that, we're in the Guinness Book of Records. I don't even think that's an actual number. <laughs> it's got a million on the end of all of that. That's so sweet though. That yeah. is one of the loveliest comments. I know, I do, yeah. <laughs> it's just... That's why it got special attention. This one's for you, Jojo. Oh, another one for Jojo. Calm yourself down, hold back. Oh, well, okay, I think it's gonna be a little more or less dangerous than that hate, hate, hate one. <laughs> it can't get worse. Apparently, Denise McLean thinks that for you, Jojo, it's time to grow up. Well, technically, Denise, he is growing up every oh, second no, 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 of no, no, every no. day. I don't call that as a mean. I, I think I have to grow up. Like, thanks. I think you're going to make me grow up. It's because I want to grow up. You yeah. do? Well, you are okay. growing up. Well, you, it's happening. So, she's, yeah. you know, she's getting her wish. When, yeah. <laughs> when it's we always look. time to grow up. Skippy Jones says, Certain British accents can get annoying after a while. Referring to me, of course. You've either got to not speak ever again or change your accent. <laughs> Changing my accent it is. Comment below, what accent would you like to hear me speaking in? He does a good American accent. Do I? What's the that one accent. you did do it to me when you say, the share? Oh, like a southern accent. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Why don't you come over to my channel and you can be one of my number oh. one fans? Stop That's it. just weird. You are not changing your accent. <laughs> Adosh Gupta has made a comment about us. Despo for comments? What do you think? Comment below whatever you think. Which kind of makes me then wonder, if you're asking people to comment below, aren't you Despo for comments? <laughs> but anyway, Coloni Tappy is bang on it. A Despo for attention and likes, they said in response. So you felt the need to make a beep comment. <laughs> a lot of YouTubers 
actually say to leave a comment so they can actually interact with viewers True. or have people just have a conversation with each other about whatever. Kalani Tappy was quite on point. We do like to engage with you guys and um, instigate interaction between us. We like chatting to you guys, having comments shared and love hearing about you guys. But actually, in honour of Adash Gupta, comment below how your day has been and what you think of this video. Including you got a Dash Gupta if you're here. Which you probably haven't stuck around after that, have you know? Yeah. Never mind. Now this one is the last comment. Panda Bear, although soft and cuddly they may be, they said, I hate to be that guy, but this is the stupidest beep beep thing I've ever seen in my life. You can't have seen much then, I'm guessing, Panda Bear. Panda Bear? Yeah, somebody's not eaten their bamboo today. I thought pandas were nice. Yeah. Well, they are an endangered species, so fear can sometimes create erratic behaviour. So Panda Bear, we're going to forgive you. Well, I'm going to forgive you on this case because I'll apparently I am that guy. I like that that is in bold as well, like I'm some unique kind of species. You are. Thanks a lot. So that is it for our mean comments video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, but most of all, thank you for all of you guys that do leave us beautiful, lovely, positive comments. Like we say, it's 99.9%, .9%, but we thought just for a bit of fun, we just, you know, bring a laugh about these negative ones and that, because that's, you know, we, we do laugh at it all, and we always just try and spread positivity and well. So thanks again for you guys for always supporting and us. And we send the highest love to all those people out there that feel the need to put unkind comments. Yeah. Because we don't know what they're going through in life. And yeah. And we do notice as well, if anyone does ever leave a negative comment, a lot of you free game do come in and try and be compassionate and nice and say, oh, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way, I hope you're having a good day. And we always, and we always encourage that behaviour as well, to try and bring the positive and the best out of people. Mm. But before we finish this video though, I've just got one shout out just before we finish, and that shout out today is from II Gracie II, who says, OMG, spook happy to log on after school and see that you guys have uploaded. Can't stop watching your videos. I love every second of them all, my guy. I love every second of them all. My guys, so much I would die for a shout out. Can't thank you enough for the vids. They make me smile every time. We certainly don't want you to die for a shout out, so don't worry, stay alive and we're giving you a shout out. There's your shout out, Gracie. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing how Katie gets a box of tissues, buries her head, and Jojo has to tell off the camera and the subscribers three times in one video, then we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. But if you're ready to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Be kind. <laughs>